Your next comic up to the stage, funny gentleman, please welcome Montgomery Wayne. Montgomery Wayne. Thank you, Mr. Pope. Cap City. Hey, we got any native-born Texans here tonight? I, my friends, am a seventh-generation Texan. Proud parent to eighth-generation Texans. It's true, I did marry down a little. I married a fifth-generation Texan. God bless her. <laughs> but I'll be well when we have our literary ninth generation. And I don't know how I'm going to get along with them. I'm tripolar. I look country, think rock and roll. We're living in a hip-hop world. <laughs> how many of y'all seen that movie, Idiocracy? <laughs> yeah, a movie set 500 years in the future, talking about how stupid our civilization's going to be. And I don't think that movie's accurate at all. I'm thinking more like six months. <laughs> I mean, friends with benefits? When I was younger, a friend with benefit was some guy that came and worked on your car or had a fake ID and got you some beer. <laughs> Not some girl who had sex with you with no strings attached. Those were sluts. <laughs> <laughs> and don't get me wrong, I love sluts. I Google sluts on my smartphone. There's some famous sluts out there. Pamela Anderson? I love me some Pamela Anderson. Paris Hilton? A little skinny. Hey, you know there's a slut out there you wouldn't think about? Nancy Reagan. <laughs> Nancy Reagan is famous for giving blowjobs in her youth, allegedly. <laughs> I guess she didn't always just say no. <laughs> you know where the sluttiest women are in the world? New Zealand. New Zealand women have sex with three times as many partners as the rest of women's world's average. You hear quotes from New Zealand men saying things like they feel pressured and used. I got my ticket for New Zealand coming next week. <laughs> hey, we got New Zealand girls here tonight? We got any sluts? Smiths? Slutty moms, I'd love to fuck the shit out of. <laughs> I'd like to apologize if I offended any of y'all. <laughs> Sluts have feelings too, you know. <laughs> Hi, mom. <laughs> I'm not calling my mom a slut, <laughs> but my daddy used to. <laughs> I'm just kidding, he called her a whore. <laughs> Look, they got divorced, he died, Carmen did his job, man. <laughs> and for the record, I never called my mom a slut. I just tell people she's from New Zealand. <laughs> And if I ever meet a New Zealand girl, I just got two words to say. Prove it. <laughs> hey, uh, how many of y'all are for drug testing? I am 100% for drug testing. Yeah, I got my own business. I want to know what kind of people I got working for me. So the test is, if you don't do drugs, you can't work for me. <laughs> yeah, our store motto is, we may be high, but our prices aren't. <laughs> and I want to get an argument with y'all about whether weed should be legal or weed shouldn't be legal. Let's just pretend we're in Colorado. We'll wake up tomorrow morning, we'll go to McDonald's and have a wake and bake special. It's a McSpliff with a ganja muffin and a hemp oil cranberry pomegranate juice smoothie. <laughs> Quarter pounder has a whole new meaning when weed's legal. <laughs> da 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 da. And I'm loving it. <laughs> and all you bars gotta change your signs from happy hour to happiest hour. <laughs> and smokers, you'll be the cool kids again, man. <laughs> and my doctor's like, you shouldn't smoke weed. And I'm like, come on, doc. If we were legal, I'd be up for dad of the year. But as it is, I'm an outlaw doing comedy, going to hell. <laughs> Did y'all see there's a poll that 94% of our fellow citizens are for the decriminalization of marijuana? And... Did y'all hear that? A little low? 94%. I think we should be having weed parades up and down Congress every day. 420, 365, y'all. <laughs> Expand your horizons. Amsterdam, Texas, it's a state of mind. <laughs> hey, I know one person that's not for drug testing. Lance Armstrong. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, uh, anyone here ever uh, bleached their anus with a Crest white strip? <laughs> anyone? Hey, don't laugh at me, I'm lucky. I got a porn star quality asshole on the cheap. <laughs> I, I bet Justin Bieber, I bet that fella spends more money annually on anal bleaching. I'll make it my entire lifetime, man. <laughs> hey, uh, speaking of assholes, I think we should bleach repeatedly. Y'all heard about Kim Jong-un threatening us, that North Korean little dictator, y'all? Man, I don't know if it's me being a seventh generation Texan, or that seventh grade Texas history class they make us take, or uh, one too many trips to the Alamo. But you don't mess with Texas, man. <laughs> that guy's got a little dick, which I will prove. But uh, <laughs> first things first. <laughs> you know in North Korea, they hate us. And the uh, reason being is those workers make $47 a year on average. <laughs> it's gonna take two North Koreans two years of overtime to cover your bar bill. <laughs> <laughs> but make sure you tip our waitresses, okay? <laughs> and over here, we're always complaining about the high tax rate. In North Korea, the tax rate is you. <laughs> And, you know, uh, he's got a little dick. Those missile tests, they just scream penis envy, man. And Kim Jong-un, when he translated into English, it means uh, I have a little dick. <laughs> translated into Chinese means I have a little dick. <laughs> in North Korean, it means uh, I have the largest cock in the entire universe. 
And over there, they're known for uh, human rights violations. Uh, over there, if you uh, got a dick longer than Kim Young Un's, they'll chop it down to two inches. <laughs> Everybody's got to have a half inch shorter than his, man. <laughs> <laughs> we got to win this war, y'all. <laughs> I already been circumcised, man. <laughs> Basically, I'm high as hell, and I'm not going to take it anymore, man. We got to make weed legal in Austin, Texas. It's a matter of survival, man. We got to smoke so much weed. Now, I go around bragging everybody. This is the best comedy club in the whole fucking world. We got to smoke so much weed. Then we make a weed cloud so big that if North Korea strikes, they hit near El Paso. <laughs> hey, uh, where are my at? Got a couple. Hey, uh, thank you, Hap City. Thank you, Mr. Pope. I'm Montgomery Wayne. I love you, Stephanie. Where you at, Mr. Pope? I got some shrooms. We're all right. Montgomery Wayne. Montgomery Wayne.